Hello, majestical people. Today, we are going to be making this totally necessary attachment for a sawzall. With sawzall, sawzall. You can stick your wood blade, your metal blade, into it to cut, well, whatever metal. When you're cooking a steak, you know, a fine meat steak, gourmet, tastes amazing, but how you going to cut it? A regular steak knife is born. So why not attach this into here? Sounds like a good idea, don't it? That's what we're doing today. So, let's get on with this. So, I was doing this on another video, and I broke it. I just completely broke it when I tried to center punch it. You come up a little bit closer here. Now we're gonna we're gonna cut this off, retrace it, and then we're gonna drill it. That's what we're gonna do. Don't really need that anymore. I had trouble with this last time, so we're going to see how we're going to do it this time. So it's, it's got to be like this. Okay, let's get out a marker and... Okay. I caught Tootsie on camera. I will be back when that is all dried, okay? Okay, it is dried, and now we can start the nervous process of drilling it and cutting it out. This might be my last steak knife. That was a lie, I have like five more down there. But this is my last steak knife. <laughs> We're gonna take this little puppy over to the drill press. We're gonna hopefully get this hole right here I don't know if you can see that, but a little hole right in there. We're going to drill that out so it actually has something to go into the sawzall. I'm going to bring my gear muffs. Let's get over there. Okay, let's get some little turds that in here. I'm hoping for a good turn out. I don't know if it is or not. It's going to be, but we're going to find out here soon enough. I'm like starting to sweat nervously or something here. I don't know what's happening. It's like my first time doing something on a drill press, so. Slap a little bit of cutting oil on it real quick. Or a little bit of lubricant if you know what I mean. Okay. Here goes nothing. Nothing happened, sadly. I don't think the bit is tight enough. Try going anywhere now. Okay. Try this again. Thank you. 
not really anything. Maybe it's because it's like stainless, but maybe that bit isn't sharp. Tootsie. So, um, this is going to take a while. So, I will be back. I'll be back when I have this done. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, the drill press didn't work, or maybe it was a bit on the drill press. All I did was keep making little little divots in the steel. That was it. So I don't know if it's going to be any better, but we're going to try a hand drill. And just see what happens. So. We are actually making progress with this. Bit, but I think it'd be a lot more better if we actually put it in the drill press. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to switch out the bit that's on here right now. And we're going to switch it out for this little guy. And I'm hoping, just, come on you little turd, just hoping that it might work. And if it doesn't, we're going to have to resort to something else. That would be, I have no clue. But, get this little turd tightened in here. Uh, apply a smidgen of cutting oil. Uh, here we go. The bit is still sharp, but we're like literally getting nowhere. Oh, wait. Actually, we are getting somewhere. are getting somewhere but I put so much pressure on it that the back here is starting to crack a bit. Okay, let's Maybe I'll try drilling it into the other side. Just to see what that does. Working. No, I broke the stainless again. Pause. It's like cheap, not good stainless. I'm gonna pause it. So, this is the 
third steak knife blade we have. Now I've just realized that if you take the handle off, there's like a little circle that fits perfectly into the sawzall itself. She wiggles around quite a lot. But it fits in there and it's like... It's in there. <laughs> what are you doing, Pat? High maintenance. But now... Well, we had the steak knife that I wanted. And yes, we will do something else with the other two broken blades once I find them, because I threw them around in the shop. <coughs> but... Did you find one? Yeah, I found one. Is that other one, like, over there, something? No, I think you threw it around here. Oh, yeah, that's, that's one. I have one. You know, I can simply do I can simply just take the angle grinder to it, lop that off. And I can I can definitely use this for something else, trust me. I'm white real someone. I can about dang near do anything. <laughs> but this isn't gonna be a good video, right? Just putting a steak knife in a sawzall. What would make it a good video is if you actually test it. So we're going to test it, too, while we're at it. Hell yeah. We need to find something to test it on. It's not a piece of wood, honestly. I think I see a chunk of wood down there. There's literally one on the target. It's not a wood blade, it's nor a metal blade. It's a knife blade. Steak knife. What, is this what our YouTube channel should be? Just me attaching weird things to a sawzall? I'm just chopping shit with it, yeah. Actually... Yeah, I gotta get that upward angle of it. I, in the shop. I thought that thing was gonna break like four times. Hey, let's just. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this blade. It's <laughs> black. Whoa. So much friction. So if you, you can see it on this side better. Dang. Still kept its edge pretty well. The edge looks perfectly fine. That that is. That's wild. But on another note. Thank you. Just thank you, wonderful, majestic humans, for watching. And, well, I, I guess I'll, I'll see you again. Peace.